keyboards. Don't leave, please, please. I I'm gonna, I have a point. <laughs> Hello and welcome. My name is Wolfie and you're watching Greater Than Pie. I do wanna apologize for all of the keyboard content lately. I've kind of gotten into a bit of a new hobby and it's been pretty interesting. You see this new hobby that I've gotten into is custom keyboards and it's similar to building a PC actually. In fact, I think a lot of you guys who are currently awaiting parts might want to check it out because believe it or not, uh, I mean, it's a lot of fun and it's a lot like building custom PCs. It's it's weird. It's it's really weird. But today we're going to be talking about things that all of you guys can probably do to your keyboards to make them better. You see, today we're going to actually go over a couple of mods that you can make to just about any keyboard to really make it stand out. You see, even though I have right here a two hundred and fifty dollar custom keyboard, and also a hundred and twenty dollar, actually probably less than that custom keyboard. This right here could also be modified. And so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the mods you can do to just about any keyboard and even some that you might want to take to your first custom build. But when it comes down to it, making your keyboard your own is not something that is really all that exclusive to the full custom scene. In fact, our first one is so simple, all you really need is time and money, and really not even that much money. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you can do to pretty much every keyboard are keycaps. That's right, keycaps. Keycap sets are easily one of the biggest ways you can customize your keyboard. In fact, every single custom keyboard build you've ever seen online, the thing that stands out the most are those keycaps. And the thing about it is, honestly, just about every single mechanical keyboard on the market has some sort of replacement keycap set. Effectively, all you need is one thing to be true for it to work. And we're gonna use this tool to show you. The only thing you need for this to work is for your switch to have this cross point stem on it. Now you can check this yourself by taking off a single key on your keyboard and checking or just checking the manufacturer's website. They will tell you if you see the words Cherry MX on any of the descriptions of your keyboard, they're compatible. If you see Gateron or Kale, they are also compatible. Uh, these are drop halos. Um, I don't think you can buy uh, Aqua King in most keyboards, but effectively, if you see a standard Cherry MX switch, which is the cross point, it literally is like a little tiny cross on there, uh, switch, then they are compatible with almost all keycap sets. And for the most part, that's all you really need to know. Where do you find them? Everywhere, actually. You can go on Amazon. Uh, you'll find a lot of clones on there. You can go on drop.com to get some more genuine, high quality ones. Um, there's KBD fans where you can find some more as well. I just warn you about one thing, and that is uh, group buys and pre orders. Uh, you do need to pay very close attention before you buy a set and expect it to get to you quickly. If you buy off of Amazon, you are guaranteed to get your uh, caps within a pretty reasonable amount of time. But when you order off of Drop, you might be waiting a little bit. I actually have a matcha keycap set that uh, I think the clone already exists, but like the official one doesn't, <laughs> as weird as it sounds. Um, and that's gonna be coming in, I think, I think that's coming in August, if I'm not mistaken. But sometimes you have to wait for these things. And essentially, the best way to go about it is to, well, find the set you want and just figure out how much time you have to spend waiting for it. Um, that being said, there are other ways. Uh, for example, you can do what I did here, which is create a Franken set. Uh, Franken sets are not uncommon in the community. Uh, essentially, you take one set that has the same profile, and then you take the other set that has the same profile, and you mix them together. So this right here, the yellow keys are actually from a shine through set that I found on Amazon for around like $10. Uh, and they're the same price on AliExpress. 
And then the black keys are actually from a Razer keyboard. Um, but essentially like creating something like this it is also more than appropriate. Most people uh, end up having to do that anyway, um, as opposed to buying clone sets, which are sets that existed, but are now under another company's name because they just happen to spin up the factories and get some more at some lower quality. Uh, that being said, we are gonna talk about a mod that you can do to cheap uh, keycaps to make them feel better. Actually, I guess with number two. So you bought a couple of cheap keycaps because you couldn't get the colors that you wanted. Well, there is one thing you can actually do to make them a little bit better. Uh, in fact, actually, the whole reason that I even really discovered this is because of the fact that I have these decals on this. So uh, these are vinyl decals and they are semi-permanent vinyl, which means that they tried it here as best as possible, but it is possible to wear them off. Uh, so much like any type of work, you can actually clear coat this to make it stick a little bit better. It's actually recommended that you clear coat it uh, to make it stick pretty much permanently. But that comes at a question. What does that do to the keycaps? Believe it or not, actually does a positive thing to cheap keycaps and a negative thing to expensive keycaps. So paint mods, as I'm effectively calling them, are pretty simple. You coat it in a clear coat and that's it. Like just one layer clear coat. And what it does is it actually changes the feel of the keycap to be softer. And with cheap keycaps, it's actually pretty common for them to be kind of porous. Um, in fact, actually the razor ones are porous intentionally, but on the cheap ones, it's not an intentional thing. In fact, actually, when I first built the butter keyboard, the keycaps sounded like Legos. Um, when they hit the ground, they were like very specifically like a sound that I'm like, that's not okay. As opposed to these, which are the uh, Artifice uh, Red Velvet Bloom, which are much nicer keycaps to be completely honest. But that being said, I wanted the yellow. So by doing a quick paint mod, which is just a layer of matte clear coat, you can actually make this feel better to the touch after it's dried. It takes 24 hours to cure. Uh, do you want to make sure that you don't have anything like any pet hair, any dust or anything on the keycap before you do this? But after it's done, it honestly feels better. And um, honestly, after we discuss the next mod, you're going to actually hear a side by side of this butter keyboard versus itself. Uh, because yeah, we, we did that. There's another thing you can do with paint mods that's actually kind of cool, and I have it right here. This, I'm gonna give you a close up of it, is one that I actually changed the finish of by using a clear coat. So this is actually using a sparkle clear coat, which changed the entire thing into a more sparkly texture, which is actually really, really cool, and it looks really, really nice. So experiment around. I would stick to using clear coats. I would not use color on any keycaps. Like if you're trying to get a red set, don't buy a white set and then paint over the keys that you want to be red because in many ways, what you're gonna do then is paint is generally pretty thick, like colored paint versus clear coats, which are generally pretty thin. As where the clear coats just kind of lightly change the texture and change the sound a little bit. Uh, doing a full paint will definitely completely change a lot about that key. It will make it heavier and not to mention uh, you probably won't have it last forever. Even if you clear coat it afterward, it will be uh, it will definitely wear out a lot faster than uh, the clear coats will because you really can't tell that it's on here other than the fact that the sound is a little bit different and the uh, feel is a little bit different. The next mod that you can do to pretty much every keyboard is what's known as a foam mod. Now, foam mods are pretty simple. I, 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 let me grab it. Effectively, if your keyboard can come apart, you can do this. You just need this. This is just some literal like contact paper foam. I, I use this stuff because it's easy because it's already got holes. But you can use crafting foam as well. As long as it's a non-static foam, then you are fine. Essentially, all it does is a dampened sound. Uh, you just put it in the bottom right here. So you have to be able to disassemble your keyboard first. Look up, honestly, like uh, iFixit isn't a sponsor of the channel, but uh, I've used their site a few times when it comes to teardowns. Check to see if there's something on here, check on YouTube. I actually had to look up how to disassemble this base itself. But now that it's disassembled, like, like you can hear that there's like no rattle or anything. That's because there's that foam under there. 
and it uh, translates to the sound of the keys. It actually makes the keys sound better because there's less bouncing around inside the chassis and it honestly makes things just overall nicer. Um, and, and in many ways, a simple foam mod can make even a cheap keyboard sound amazing. And then as promised, I am going to do a side-by-side -side for you guys now. I already prepared this, so go ahead, listen to this. I mean, how'd you like that? I personally love the sound of this keyboard now. Still got a bit of clickiness. I do like my halos a little bit more, but I'm thinking I might do a, uh, a foam mod into this bass as well, just cause this one even has a little bit of pinging to it that I think I can get rid of uh, if I uh, did a foam mod. Now let's talk about cable mods. Not the company that you get custom PC cables from, but one where you do it at home. Cable mods are actually pretty simple. I've actually featured them twice on this channel so far. I did one on my Razer Huntsman V2 analog and one on a Razer Huntsman. I did a purple one for my personal one and a white one for gamer guts. That being said, those were some pretty thick cables because we were dealing with USB, uh, getting over this USB hub. If you have a USB-C cable, you can actually use a much thinner cab uh, cable like this one. Uh, this is actually an in-progress one. I still have to heat shrink this one, but I wanted to show you guys how it works fundamentally. This braiding right here is actually special because it can expand and it can expand past the point of the connector. Uh, you do want it to actually be rated for that expansion um, or else it's not, it's gonna try to tear and it will break apart. But all you have to do if you wanna make a custom cable is get a hold of what's known as expanding uh, braided cabling and just make sure that it's within the right size and spec. I'm gonna put it up for here for USB-C and then also the one that I use for USB. These are two that I've confirmed work. You are gonna need heat shrink as well. Uh, heat shrink is used to clean up these ends over here. Um, essentially uh, for this size cable, you pretty much just need anything that fits over the USB-C. And then uh, after that, all you need is a lighter. I have a heat gun to make it a little bit easier, but you can do it with a lighter. I've done it with a lighter before. Um, you just light the lighter, it set it underneath the heat shrink and it will, well, shrink. And after that, you've got a custom braided cable. Now there are other ways to do braided cables. Um, there are more advanced ways that we will discuss at a later video, along with lubing, and things of that nature. Once we get into the more advanced stuff, you're moving into the territory where not everybody can do that. And this is supposed to be the things everyone can do to their keyboard. But with that, that is the pretty much the last mod that I can think of that pretty much anybody can do to your key, their keyboard. If you have a detachable USB-C cable like this one, you can just get a pretty cable. They exist. On Amazon, I've found quite a few of them. You can also order from Space Cables. I'm still waiting on my first Space Cable, uh, which is a purple one, which is gonna look real nice. But digressing a little bit, I do have my custom green one that I think it looks pretty good. And I'll uh, leave a couple of links in the description uh, so that you guys, if you are looking for this kind of stuff, uh, can find it. But with that, we're gonna wrap up. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you enjoyed watching this video, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you like the shirt, I've got it for sale. It's uh, in the description. Uh, it's on my uh, personal uh, Teespring shop. But uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about this hobby or how to get into this hobby, feel free to ask. I answer almost every single comment that I can. Um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I suck at ending videos. Wolfie, out.